Exercising is not complicated, but it should be executed correctly. In this mini class series, you will learn the most beneficial way to perform six exercises that combined together, create a full day exercise plan, easily accomplished at home or in a gym. Welcome to Fit Mini Class. This is a band series and it's upper full day. So we're working our back and our biceps. This is one of six exercises in the series. And if you watch them all, you'll have a nice balanced full day's workout and they're all linked in the description. Today, Eric and I are gonna explain how to perform a reverse fly with the best form you could possibly use using bands. You can use the tube band or you can use the loop band and today we're gonna be using a tube band. So to get started, Eric's going to place the band underneath both of his feet. His feet are going to be about hip width apart. Now he's going to crisscross the bands in front of his shins. And before he starts, he wants to make sure that his shoulders are back and down and his core is tight. So what he's going to do next is he's just going to bend his knee slightly and hinge forward just at the hips. And he's going to keep his back flat. He's gonna lower his chest down until it's as parallel as he can get it to the ground without, without um, rounding his back. He wants to keep it flat. So he'll begin by raising his hands out to his side, keeping his elbows high until he gets to where his arms are in line with his body, about just underneath chin level. And then when he gets up there, he's gonna give a good squeeze to his back and then lower back down with a nice controlled movement. When you lower and when you, when you raise your hands up, your elbows are gonna wanna come down, but you wanna keep them up to make sure that we're working our traps. Okay. Give yourself enough slack so that you can get a full contraction. The arms are getting all the way back in line with the body to about chest height. Slight bend in the elbows, and the elbows are high, the neck is relaxed, and you're breathing out on the way up and in on the way down. The reverse fly works a couple of really important muscles, including the traps in the back, which are a kite-shaped muscle, it runs vertically along the upper spine, bands out toward the shoulders. So it's important to have strong traps because anything you do that, that needs Power, like pushing, pulling, throwing, climbing, anything like that, you're going to need really strong trap muscles. One huge benefit of strengthening your back is to ensure good posture. These days, most people have what's called forward head, or some people call it nerd neck, or upper cross syndrome. And sitting for long periods of time and using our electronics so much, you know, our shoulders are starting to roll forward, but if you strengthen your back, it brings your shoulders back, and that looks so much better. So that's really it. This is the reverse fly with bands. I hope you like this mini class. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss another class. And we'll see you next time.